Pakistani military establishment uh, is, you know, forcefully trying to stifle our freedom of expression, but they cannot stop us, um, you know, around the world. Uh, they can stifle our freedom of expression in Pakistan, but they cannot stifle our freedom around the world. Chief of Army Staff, General Asim Munir, the DGISI, General Nadeem Anjum, they are responsible for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Pakistan is, doesn't deserve to be the member of the United Nations as we stand uh, before the United Nations Human Rights Council. Uh, Manzoor Pashtin was arrested on December 4, six days before the 75th universal anniversary of the Universal Declaration of uh, Human Rights. The main reason behind his arrest was uh, that he was intending to travel uh, to Turbat Sitan, where our Baloch brothers uh, were organizing a protest against uh, uh, the enforced disappearances, uh, target killings, and genocide of the Baloch people. So that was the reason uh, to stop Pashtun and Baloch to show solidarity with each other, to strengthen their relationship with each other. The Pakistani military establishment was afraid uh, of uh, this relationship and that is why uh, he was arrested while on his way to Turbat City. After the arrest of uh, Manzoor Ahmad Pashtin, uh, the PTM uh, activists around the world organized uh, global protests uh, uh, not only in, in, in Pakistan, uh, but we organized the protests all around the world, including United States of America, uh, Belgium, Netherlands, Austria, and there are more in the pipelines until on unless Manzoor Pashtin is released. Uh, Manzoor Pashtin was arrested arbitrarily and presented to before the kangaroo courts of Pakistan which are compromised under the boot of Pakistani military establishment. We don't believe in these courts and we don't believe in the Pakistani system and we will continue our struggle till the end until Manzoor Pashtin is released. We are also intending to establish a tent here in Geneva on the daily basis where we will expose the black face of the Pakistan, the Pakistani regime uh, to the world on the daily basis. Uh, you know, the Pakistani military establishment uh, is, you know, forcefully trying to stifle our freedom of expression and our right to peaceful assembly. Uh, but they cannot stop us, um, you know, around the world. Uh, they can stifle our freedom of expression in Pakistan but they cannot stifle our freedom around the world because we are living in free world. These generals, the uh, Chief of Army Staff, General Asim Munir, the DGISI, General Nadeem Anjum, they are responsible for war crimes and crimes against humanity, including enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings, torture and genocide of the Pashtun people and we want the international community to try them before the International Criminal Court because they are violating uh, the international law, they are violating uh, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the United Nations Charter. So Pakistan is, doesn't deserve to be the member of the United Nations as we stand uh, before the United Nations Human Rights Council.